All right, I'm back for Dust Test's ongoing coverage of Fracagago 2024. I'm here with Experative, IGL of Lag, following their loss to Limitless, knocking them out of the tournament. Uh, to start, we have to talk about that match. Um, Lag started the series on fire, winning the first map, I believe, 13-3, but after that, it slowly faded away with that double overtime uh, in the second map before, you know, a close loss in the third map. What do you think went wrong to let the series slip away from you guys? I think overall, like... We had like lots of shaky runs, not only like this best of three, also like other games. I think it's because of like we had a little bit like lack of practice like in recently and also we are playing with the standing right now. Obviously like we are playing with Spot instead of Ray. I mean he he's like he has been insane like sub, I have to say. Like he's playing like, really good, he has really good game sense. He did like lots of extras, but obviously he doesn't have like some utilities or like some uh tactics that we call etc. So like, it was a little bit like Puggy playstyle from us, like in this tournament. And obviously, like, I think we had a lot of individual, like, bad decision makings, or we didn't get traced. Like, we choked, like, some five, seven rounds, I would say, in crucial moments, especially on Ancient. And, yeah. Uh, overall, how do you feel about the team's result? Was Is top four sufficient, or were you, want, or were you aiming to go further? Um, I think we're gonna have potentially like some changes in the team. So we are exploring like some placements right now, like some changes I would say. I don't want to say right now, but I think we are still in a good shape. I strongly believe that we're going to be in the ECL playoffs. We have a really good shot right now. And I'm still happy and I think we're going to do really good. Like we have a still really good environment, like really good mentality like with my teammates and I believe we're gonna like pull it, like we're gonna be coming stronger. I would say. I find that interesting. You mentioned that more changes might be coming to this lag roster because there's been already quite a few changes this season. Uh, you know, with Base leaving the team in favor of Wiza and uh, Nyx leaving the team in favor of uh, Ray XTS. Um, can you explain those two changes? What brought, what made the team decide to you know shuffle their roster after looking so strong last season? I think it's more of a clash of roles. Like we had too many passive riflers with based. Then with Queen, Queen had a, uh, time constraints, like he couldn't really play, like he's also working in another job and he has, he's kind of busy in real life. So he was not really like practicing himself individually. And even like when we uh, decided to part ways with him, like he did, didn't go for like any LFT because he did, doesn't like really have enough time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just outside of the game, I would say. Um, with those changes, we've seen we've seen lag have uh, sh have struggles since adding those two new pieces to the squad. Uh, maybe not necessarily performing the level that we've expected from lag in their sort of upward trajectory that started at the beginning of the year. Um, do you feel the team's taking a step back with these additions, or do you feel like do you feel the team's taking a step back with these additions? You have to do some work to get back to that level, or you know, what's your thoughts on how the team's progressing with your two new additions? Yeah, I think we kind of rushed like some situations, especially when we had like base 10, Nix, I mean NYYX. Uh, we had a really good system and I wanted to implement the same system we had with them, but with Visa and Ray, they are completely different players than base 10, Nix. They are way aggressive, they are calling way more, they are doing like more plays. So like the system we had, doesn't work and we had to understand it and the tough games after some tough losses we figured it out the system we had it's not clearly working out with the Rayan visa so we have been changing like some play style some calling then I'm doing less micro right now I would say and also even like position wise like we are changing like lots of positions right now especially on CCT side uh, with that as well, we also saw Irascal retire um, recently with the team ultimately going for uh, El Principe, the Turkish former coach of Eternal Fire Academy. Uh, what influenced that decision to go with a uh, Turkish coach? So we have been looking for another coaches. Actually, we maybe tried like lots of coaches like recently. They just joined our like practices, offlines, then even other stuff. And we decided to go with El Principe because he has a really good experience. He could show us he added like some really cool stuff then some scrims against like top teams in na we were struggling some rounds and he could give like really good solutions 
and he has been adding like some good set stress, I would say. And in the past, he had a lot of good experiences, and we strongly believe that we will just be able to give those experiences to our team. Uh, is it intentional that obviously you, as a, a Turkish IGL, trying to implement a very European style? That he is a Turkish, co that he is a Turkish coach who comes from the European system. Is that like a? Are you, are you guys trying to sort of? Do you guys have a coherent vision of where you want to take the team? Yeah, I would say uh, with El Princip, we are still trying to figure out like how we want to play. I would say because he has like lots of uh, set stress or game plan, different ideas. It's same with me. I have lots of ideas as well. So we are right now trying to find the mutual point, I would say. So we're going to be on the same page. And playing with the EU playstyle mm -hmm. is our main goal, I would say. Uh, with the team now exiting this tournament, you have to look forward to the rest of the ECL season, which you previously mentioned you want to make playoffs in. Uh, what are going to be the main focuses of the team to ensure you can make playoffs? I would say we going to have potentially like some changes, as I said. And we need to focus on like lots of practices and which is good for us because I would say like all of us kind of playing as a full time mm -hmm. and we are practicing individually and also team wise like we are practicing and putting lots of hours I would say and as soon as we finalize our like last roster we just gonna start with offline then play scrims etc we have I believe like two and a half weeks until the first ECL we have a good break then we're gonna have CCT playoffs and so we're just going to take our time, I would say. We are not going to rush anything. We will just go map by map. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is Experative, the IJL flag, exiting Fraga Cago 2024 with more work to do in the future. Thank you so much for your time and commiserations. Thank you.